Ugh. Hello. <laughs> it is cold today, um, and uh, I don't have anything to record. And also, I don't know, I just just want to play some Pokemon Go. So welcome to, I guess, a new series here on the channel um, where we just play. And there's nothing special about these videos. It's nothing like these crazy videos I've been putting out where, you know, we play Pokemon Go in a helicopter or um, other things. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank right now. This is weird because I've actually really, it's been a long time since I've just played Pokemon Go very casually um, and just enjoyed the game, really, because I've been trying to come up with all these crazy video ideas. So, yeah, if you're planning on playing Pokemon Go, put this on in the background. It's going to be a longer video. Um, yeah, and we're going to play and chat and stuff. So uh, we are here. What event is it? My legs are shaking because I literally just hit legs at the gym, which I don't think was a good idea before <laughs> coming to play this. But the event, what event is it? This goes to show how little I've been playing. Let me see here. Um, what are we playing? Oh, yeah, we are playing the Lustrous Odyssey event. So this event um, was an event I don't really care to play, but we're still going to give it a try. Is this is the lighting good here? Yeah, okay, the lighting's all right. <laughs> Just checking that. Um, yeah, I don't really care to try, but still, we're going to try. So we're here at Arboretum. We've got some fun raids uh, to do as well. Not really. This Tornadus, by the way, apparently, I don't know when you guys are watching this video, but Niantic did another Niantic and they forgot to turn on the shiny of this thing. Someone's actually doing this raid. Bro, get out of that raid. That cannot be shiny. Yeah, Niantic forgot to turn on the shiny, which kind of sucks, but nonetheless, we're gonna start doing a little bit of shiny checking here. Um, you know, just gonna quick catch some of these. We got a Sunkern. Bro, these spawns, man. I don't know, personally, as a player who's played, a long, a lot of Pokemon Go. It's getting windy. Um, I don't really care for any of these. This is just so, like, do you not find the game is stale right now? If you've noticed here on the channel, I have been posting not less, but just less things around the actual core content of the game. Um, or at least I guess I've just been less excited. Cause it's like, what is this bro? Teddy Ursa, two Young Goose and two Patrat? I understand there are new players who are joining the game, but I don't know. I think it just kills the motivation of, uh, of other players, of, new, of, uh, of old veteran players. That's a debate that we can actually get into. The debate of should Niantic be doing things for new players or should they be doing things for veteran players? Because that's always a good question. And I think there needs to be a balance struck. But let's be honest. I... Oh, actually, I don't know. I'd have to, this would have to be a whole analyzing video. I could do that, where we analyze everything Niantic's done, maybe like in the past year, and has most of it been for new players or veterans? I don't know. Maybe Niantic doesn't even care about that. They just care about making content. That would make the most sense. They just they do whatever. Okay. Nonetheless, we have our Daramaka. Do you did notice something I do often? I just pop in my buddies. Um, you can get a bunch of poffins for free from doing air mapping tasks. Let's see if I actually have one. Uh, no, I don't have, oh, I do have one. I've scanned the blue Douglas fur. Cool. Um, maybe I'll, I'll try to find one of those and show you guys, but yeah, you can get poffins for free from AR mapping. So that's kind of nice, but, uh, yeah, we have Daramaki here. What am I going to do? Daily adventure incense. I guess we could do that. Um, well, yeah, cool. Okay. I guess it's Pokemon move. So I'm going to start uh, walking and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. I don't know. I don't know what this video is, but I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> To the channel, you will have noticed that uh, we are in the Great White North because it's uh, very snowy. We actually got, I think it was like maybe 10 centimeters of snow. I don't know. I don't have my ruler 
right now. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cold. I'm actually doing this on the hottest day of the week right now. Uh, for all you American folks, well, actually, I don't really know what temperature it is for you American folks, but for you people who know how to use the, the old Celsius, it's uh, five degrees right now, which is kind of nice. At least it's on the negatives. But it's a bit windy, I will say that much. But uh, it's the best we're going to get, you know. Not a lot of you people can probably relate, but here up in the cold, although snow is nice and everyone's like, oh, I want to see snow, uh, please show me snow. You want to see it until you see it. It's like the Eiffel Tower. You see it and then you look around and you see all the trash on the floor and you're like, okay, I'm good. No hate against the Eiffel Tower. I'm part French, so I think I'm allowed to say that. Um, but yeah, cool. Um, okay, so to be honest, that day of entrances was kind of dumb to do because I'm not really gonna be able to move the camera and do this video, so we're just gonna ignore it. If we get a if we do, if we miss a Galarian bird, so well, but we do have a Arlo here. Now, for some reason, I'm running Blaziken. I guess this is all right. I find like a tip I'm gonna say for the Team Rocket leaders is in my counter guides, I always recommend a team of three that can beat all three of them. But to be honest, their first Pokemon is always so weak that it actually doesn't even really matter. Like, although I'm about to get, oh, never mind, they threw right before the end. Although I'm about to get like killed, it, you could honestly use something that is resisted against the Shadow Bellsprout and you will still win. That's how weak they are. You see? Also, one thing about Team Rocket leaders is they will always throw their charge move the second they get it which I should have thrown there, that's uh, stupid of me, but sorry, I have Tyrantar. So even if you're about to die to a fast move, that's why Arlo threw that move there, because he was like, I have a charge move, why not click it, you know? I don't know, he's greedy, greedy for the charge move. Should we call the Focus Blast? Why not, let's do it. Fire Punch, easy. Oh my, bro. Bro, Team Rocket, if, if Team Rocket actually knew how to battle, they would win so many battles, let's be honest. They have some broken Pokemon. A resisted fire punch does that much? That's crazy. Okay, well, finally we have this Caesar. My hand is really cold. I should have, oh, actually, I do have gloves. One sec, Caesar. let me beat you and I'm gonna put on my glove. You won't be able to stop me once I have my glove on. To be honest, bro, my teams for Team Go Rocket is just like never set. Okay, sick down Ugh. what a what a great place to live right I don't know man what do you guys think about moving cities do you believe in living in the city you were born in or oh, got snow all over my phone <laughs> or moving cities you know because it's a big move right where should I move to if I move? What's the best? What is the best place to live in the world? I feel like that's not a good question. Shiny Shadow. No. I will say I do like the Shadow Bell Sprout. Can we hit an excellent throw? We cannot. I do like the Shadow Bell Sprout or the Shiny Shadow Bell Sprout. I guess just Shiny Bell Sprout. Hello. Ooh, pretty good PPIVs. Oh, you're good. You're good. Go ahead. It's all good. <laughs> Look at this, pretty good PvP IVs on this Bell Sprout. I always feel bad when people walk into my filming. It's all right. It's not that. It's not that serious. I wonder what PvP IVs this is. I could be bothered to check right now. You see, that's like the thing is like I just don't care about the game that much right now. That like, if I get a good Shadow Bell Sprout, like I don't know, maybe I've just been playing too long. You know. Maybe every game have a, has a lifespan. This is becoming like psych physiological, psychological. Maybe every game has a lifespan in which like you can only play it for so long until like it's bound to get more boring or more stale. I don't know. The only thing that can keep me going is addiction. <laughs> okay, well, uh, to be honest, there's no more spawns here. So let's uh, go somewhere else. Let's maybe see if we can walk over. Is there anything... There's a Mega Medicham. Let's walk to the Mega Medicham raid uh, and let's go do that. That could be fun. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a shiny Medicham. Not that I need one. <laughs> I don't know. A shiny is a shiny, right? <laughs> Okay.
Okay. Whew. I lied. We didn't make it to the Mega Medicham raid yet. And all this walking is kind of making me sweat a bit. We got the. Let me just loosen up the jacket a bit. Oh, what's that? Oh, you can't really see. One sec. Oh, what's that? Pokemon Go Fest merch? Yeah, if you haven't noticed, I got myself my Team Rocket pants on. We got our Go Fest merch. We even actually have a Pokemon themed backpack. Why am I wearing this today? I don't know. Because I don't wear it enough, I guess, you know? Pokemon merch, I feel like from the Pokemon Center, this is not an ad, but they have nice stuff there. But like, uh, just not all of it. You have to pick and choose. And I kind of like the pieces I chose. You know, I like these, these subtle rocket pants. People are like, what is that? What does R stand for? I tell them it stands for Uno Reverse. No, I don't know. I, I, I actually don't, no one asked me, to be honest. <laughs> okay, but we have another grunt, so. Frozen in your tracks grunts, man. I feel like grunts is an underrated part of the game. I don't know, to be honest, personally, I only ever battle grunts when, um, when do I battle grunts? When the rocket events come around. Other than that, it feels like almost not worth it because it's really hard to hunt the grunt you want, kind of. And also, grunts usually lead to disappointment. Like, the odds of getting a good shadow IV is just, it's not impossible, but it's definitely not that possible. Um, okay, we got a cloister, cool. Let's go ahead and take him out. Man, I don't know. This just feels so repetitive. And that's an interesting question to bring up as well. How repetitive, or like should Niantic be working on making the game less repetitive? Because at the core, every video game is repetitive, right? Like, oh, I always go back to like Fortnite. It's the same thing. Minecraft, a little less repetitive because you know, you could build different things. I gotta take my hat off, it's too hot. Um, but I don't know, every game is repetitive. So like, at what point should they be trying to make it not repetitive? I don't know. My brain's really foggy right now, but uh, yeah. Nonetheless, we took down this grunt. Damn, seeing my hair in this reflection on my phone is not nice. Let's see the IVs. Mm, not bad, not bad. We got a couple spawns here. Again, this event just is so doo-doo in my opinion. Oh, well, that's the end of that. <laughs> Daily Adventure in sense. Yeah, this event. <laughs> Why is there so many normal spawns? I don't know, at the end of the day, like, Niantic can't make every event amazing, right? But also, could you do better than this? I don't know. It always goes back to the saying, I forget the saying, but I know it's an actual saying, where the highs can only be highs if there are lows, right? So we need some bad events to make the good events seem better. Because if every event was a dragon event, then, I don't know, I don't think they would be as special, in my opinion. By the way, you notice here I'm doing the quick catch technique. This is a technique that, to be honest, if you've been playing Pokemon Go for, I'd say over six months, you should have learned by now, um, where you can grab the berry tray, or you can also do it with the Pokeball tray. The little tray, when I say the tray, it's the, uh, one sec here. It's this thing here that holds, ugh this thing here that holds the the balls if you if you put one finger on that and pull it out and then throw the pokeball you can then let go of that finger and it opens it up allowing you to still have access to the run button and you can run and pretty much what that does well it didn't work that time but uh, pretty much what that does is it allows you to not have to wait for these three shakes you know it goes like one two three like that's so boring bro like after a while you don't want to be watching that right so this is pretty much a technique to catch faster and it actually brings up a topic of like, once you start doing these techniques, the game, you realize how much the game is not optimized for quality of life because of how repetitively slow it is. Same with spinning Pokestops, like you have to click on it and spin it. Like, yes, that's not that bad and annoying, but after doing that, you know, 100,000 times, a million times, some people have like their Pokestop spin medal. What is my medal at actually? Uh, where is it? I'm drawing blank. This one, right? Yeah, I've spun 117 Pokey, 117,000 Pokestops. And like, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, that's not all me spinning stops because uh, I use an auto catcher. It's really an auto spinner, but 
it's a device here that can auto spin your stops. But like imagine spinning 100,000 Poké stops manually. Like that just sounds so repetitively boring. I don't know. So that's why I think that like once you start doing these techniques like r running an auto catcher to spin stops, maybe it's like, you know, you get spoiled and you know, you enjoy the spoils of of having that, but like at the same time like I don't know, I could never imagine going back to like not using the quick catch technique and not using an auto spinner. Like this just is just so much more efficient. I don't know, at the end of the day, Pokemon Go, I guess is about efficiency. I don't know. I don't know, okay, uh, yeah, so let's go, let's go do that raid. I gotta stop, uh, I gotta stop yapping. I'm just yapping. Getting sunny. I'm gonna pull my sunglasses now. I wanna show you guys these. <sighs> Where are they? Uh. These bad boys. What do you think? You know what? I get judged a lot for wearing these, but these were the sunglasses that helped me run my half marathon. So you know what? I like them. I like them. <laughs> They're efficient. They're good. They're Oakley, you know? For me, my life is, uh, what is the saying? Comfort over style? No. Yeah, that's actually technically the saying. Or is it function? Function over form. Or brains over brawn. Oh no, that's different. Okay, let's go do this raid. Let me get my phone. Okay. So uh, we made it to the Mega Medicham raid. Um, and to be honest, something, uh, well, actually, no. What was I going to say? Oh, brain fart. I don't know, bro. My, my brain is foggy today. Oh, you know what I was going to say? Next time I might, for, if you guys enjoy this, let me know. But next time I might, uh, <sighs> might carry, I might have like a, a shoulder cam or something. Cause carrying this camera around, it's kind of heavy, kind of annoying. Okay, Mega Medicham, let's do it. So this thing is soloable. 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 Solgaleo. Um, so we should be able to solo it, but still, we're going to send invites. We're going to send invites out. Don't you love, Niantic, don't you love how many trainers came out? I'm kidding. I, I understand the point of raiding is to keep certain Pokemon rare and stuff and all, but... Man. Sometimes... Sometimes it's just so unrealistic, you know? Like, if you live in a rural area, I doubt you will ever do a legendary raid. And remote raids, although, yes, they can allow you to do it, it's still, like, so... Because, like, no one's going to spend that money on remote raids, you know? Who's going to... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've lost my vision of what's right and wrong in this game. Like, I'm just going to try to be honest with you guys. I feel like I've lost my vision of what's right and wrong because I've played so long and I've seen every step of the evolution. Or not every step. Like, I missed the original parts of the game. But, like, I've seen the last three years of how it's gone. And I just know what the reality is, right? The reality is that to do in-person raids... It's just not realistic for everybody, you know? At least I've, I've been in... I'm not going to say for everybody. Oh, pardon the wind. I've just seen, like, stages where, you know, people have not been able to do remote raids. Like, I've been in places where... Or not remote raids, in-person raids. I don't know. It feels, like an, it feels like a conversation that's been so played out, you know? Like, we've talked so much about how remote raids are stupid, but... Uh, not stupid, I don't know. The opposite of stupid. What's the opposite of stupid? Not stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Let's uh, let's do this raid here. I think I can solo this. If not, well, that sucks. Again, I there's no one joining my remote. No one's doing a Mega Medi Cham raid. You know. What is this? Why are you giving me a Shadow Mewtwo? Oh, this is not good already. And I have Dragon Tail on this. I think I should just back out. I think I should just back out of this. Oh, still, that Dragon Ascent does a lot. Yeah, I thought that Mewtwo had uh, Shadow Ball, that Shadow Mewtwo. It's crazy. That's another thing we talk about. The recommended, recommended, recommended party. 
It's so, so wrong. Why are you giving me a Psy Strike Shadow Mewtwo? Medicham is neutral to Psychic, bro. I don't know. At the 50% mark, we'll see how we're doing and see if we can solo this or not. Mega Ray might just sweep this for us, to be honest, because this thing is just so strong. Like, look at those Dragon Ascents. If you've noticed, a lot of people have noticed on the channel that Mega Rayquaza, it's Rayquaza, by the way. I've learned that recently. It's Rayquaza. Um, is always on the top counter charts unless the Pokemon resists Dragon Ascent. It literally is always on the top counter charts. It is just so strong. It is just so strong. Oh, this thing's running Power Punch? Damn. Okay, I don't want that. We're going to go into our Garatina. Garatina! Yo, it's been a while since Garatina's been back, right? I don't know when this video is coming out, to be honest, but I think Garatina's supposed to come back in February. I think. Not 100% sure. I think. We'll see. This right, we should be able to solo this. But you see, the problem with soloing a Mega Raid is that you get no Mega Energy for doing it. Like, you just don't get any. Because the Mega Energy is related to on how fast you uh, take it down. The most you can get is 300. I know that for a fact. If you take it down in like, I think it's like 30 seconds or something, or maybe 40, you get the max amount of Mega Energy, which is a lot. 300 is a lot. Um, but yeah, like, I'm going to probably get the lowest amount, which I think is like 150. Which I guess is, like, still mega energy, but... I don't know. I feel like they should just give you the same amount. Like, why is that a thing? And I, I don't know. I know. It's, it's because they want people to go and group up. But, like, still, why is that a thing? No, I'm kidding. I understand. I think Niantic, like... This is a hard statement to say. Not every single thing Niantic does makes sense. But everything makes sense to their... Their, um... What's it called? Their mission statement to get... Like, because at the end of the day, you have to understand Niantic... It's been made clear, does not really care about the money. They only care about getting people out. And if money's going to cost them that, okay, I can't say Niantic doesn't care about money. They need money to run the company. But at the end of the day, hold up, this is a little bit dark. At the end of the day, um, as long as Niantic uh, get people out and, and moving or whatever, um, they're going to be happy. So it's just weird. It's just weird. I don't know. It's a, it's a, I guess, I guess they're fighting the, uh, the, the noble battle of uh, trying to make sure that we all still have human interaction, you know, which I respect. Um, but it's like, it's like a weird, it's like a weird relationship, right? Like, you know what they're doing, but at the same time, you don't always agree with it, but then you know it's good for you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm, if I make a couple of these types of videos, a lot of them are going to end up pivoting into me bashing Niantic. So we're going to try to keep it positive for you guys because I know you guys are struggling with a lot. Okay, I'm not trying to say your life sucks, but life is hard for everybody. Everybody has their own struggles. So I'm going to make sure that these types of videos are ones that you can escape to and, uh, you know, enjoy some time solo. I don't know. Just realized this is not even recording. Audio. Power on. Power on. Well. Well, uh. This mic's still working, which is good. <laughs> okay, are we gonna beat this? Sorry, I'm not really paying attention. Should we go into this other Rayquaza? We should. 36 seconds. We should have this, right? Oh, we need one more Dragon Ascent. No problem, though. Not bad. To be honest, I'm going to say easy solo if you have a level 50 Mega Rayquaza, which not everybody has, um, and like Mewtwo's. If you don't, you probably need two people, I would say. And to be honest, if you're watching this, you probably shouldn't even be doing Mega Medicham raids because this thing just sucks. But like I said earlier, ooh, four rare candies. That's pretty good. Mega, the one thing I like about Mega raids is they give a lot of silver pineapps, which is always nice. Um, and yeah, like I said, yeah, so 150 is the lowest and 300 is the most you can get. Depending, yeah, the speed amount. Anyway, shiny Medicham. Tiny Medicham. Okay, okay. Um, silver Pineapp. I don't know why. I don't know. I guess Medicham candies are never bad because, like, Medicham is always, 
going to be good in PvP, I think. Or generally is going to be good in PvP. It just has a great stat pool for Great League. Look how small that is. Dude, that has to be a record. That is the smallest Medicham. Wait, hold up. Let me compare this. I want to see I want to see this compared. I can't spell cuz my hands are so cold. Medicham. Okay, Medicham. Okay. Um hold up. We're going to go in recent. Okay, look. So this one, oh my god, that is tiny. Dude, this tiny thing is kind of fun. Look, they're all like regular sized. And then we have the smallest one. I'm going to mega evolve it. I want to see how small the mega is. People are like, oh, don't use your mega. Bro, what am I going to use this mega energy for? At, at the same time, I probably said that right now. And Niantic is like, okay, we're going to buff Mega Medicham and allow it in the Great League. Look at that, bro. The smallest Mega Medicham. It is kind of fun. I'm going to call him Mini Man. Mini. What should I call him? Mini. Mini Cham. That's a good name, right? Chat. I don't know. I don't really do nicknames, but uh, we're going to do that one. Mini champ. Okay, nice. What else do we have here? Another Arlo. Let's see if we can get ourselves a shiny on this video. I'm not going to lie. Just because of how casual these videos are, I very much doubt I'm going to get a shiny. But still, we got a Froki. Also, none of these Pokemon I want the shinies of. I actually... This is actually... Be, I, I'd be curious to go through every single Pokemon in my collection and see how many shinies am I missing? Or like make a chart. Wait, I can do that right now, right? Wait, wait, I can do that right now. Hold up, hold up. Right? Pokedex, shiny? I forgot this was a thing. Okay, let's look here. Now we have to look because some of the Pokemon, we haven't evolved their shinies yet, so technically we've had them. Like Zubat, you know, I have the shiny Golbat. Um... So I think I have all of Gen 1 Shinies. Wait, I have this? No, I don't. That's a lie. I don't have that. What is this? Where were these caught from? No, I don't have a Shiny. Wait, is this just a lie? Why is it telling me I have it? Oh, it's because I have the Galarian form. This game's a lie, though. Wait, so you can't organize it per... Like, it doesn't show me... How many of each I've caught in the shiny form? It just says I have the shiny, but I don't. I don't have the shiny regular Farfetch'd. Okay, well, hold up. Let's go sit down somewhere and do this, because my, my, my leg is kind of hurt from the leg day. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I didn't really find... Uh, the best spot, but this is a nice spot to sit and uh, take a look at this. It's also wet, so I'm sitting on my jacket. Nice view of Ottawa, though, I will say. This is kind of nice to just play relaxed, casually, because I feel like I'm always playing pretty hardcore. So it's nice to to sit down. Okay, let's look here. Zatu. Um, what is this thing? I'm missing that thing. I don't know what that is. 202? Uh, I actually don't have a shiny Tyrogue yet, so I, that's what I'm missing. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't have everything, okay? That could be interesting. I'm not going to do it right now to fully go through everything, but, like, I'm curious, I'm curious with you guys as well. Have you ever checked, so Wendy right now, have you ever checked how many, oh, I just explored nine kilometers, but I haven't been moving. Have you ever checked how many shinies you have out of all of them? Be interesting. Golden Rainy Strike. Oh, this can actually be a shiny Shadow Grimer. So we're going to do that. Groudon. Grimer, yes. I've actually never gotten a shiny Shadow from Grunts. Because um, I've heard, I've he from what I've heard, is that the odds of a shiny Shadow from Grunts are actually not the regular shiny Shadow odds of 1 in 64. Um, and it's actually full odds for a shiny Shadow from Grunts, which is, like... I guess makes sense because they want people to spend money on radars, but also that is an insane rate to do. Like you have to do 500 shiny eligible grunts. I shouldn't be complaining again because if you don't know in the main series games, well, you know what? Actually, no, I'm going to make this statement. In the main series games, everyone's like, Pokemon Go players complain because they have to, uh, you know, the odds of the shiny Pokemon are 1 in 500, but in their games, I think in the main series, like, its base is, like, 1 in 8,000, and then it can get up to, like, 
one in 4,000, I think. I don't know. Someone knows. Someone tell me. But the odds are a lot higher. But the difference is that you actually have to go out and grind and target Pokemon. Versus in um, the main series games, you can just sit there and re-encounter the same Pokemon because they spawn in different areas, if you know, if that makes sense. But Shiny Shadow? No. As expected. As expected. Just expect it not to be a Shiny, and then, you know, it'll be a pleasant surprise when it does end up being a Shiny. Nice. Caught the Grimer. Terrible IVs, as expected. Uh, what is this rate over here? Oh, yeah, this is the tornadoes we saw earlier. I'm not going to do any of these because, again, Niantic, if you don't know Niantic, at the start of these tornadoes raids, I believe right now, um, forgot to actually turn on the shiny, which they've done. They haven't done in a while, I will say. The last time I think they did it was Deoxys. So it's been a little bit of time since they've done it, but... Yeah, still. Let's catch everything here. And Pat Rat. Nice. Okay, now we do have a mission during this video. Pokey Mama is picking up my brother at the. Um, you actually might be able to see it from here. There's like a college, or no, university in that direction, like here ish, in that direction. Um, it's probably about. Probably about one click out, one kilometer. Um, she's picking up my brother there. So I want to be there so I can, you know, snag a ride from my mother. Shout out Pokemama. So we're going to make our way over there. Um, see if we can catch any Pokemon on the way. I guess, you know what? I guess we'll throw down a lure. Why not? I also have to send gifts, but I don't think I'm going to have time. Let me actually get the update from Pokemama. Bonjour, hello. Okay, so I've been tasked with the duty to get in contact with my brother so that we can plan this pickup. And when I say task, I'm just going to send him a text. Okay, uh, that means we have time to send gifts. So let me send gifts and let's talk about gifts. Gifts in Pokemon Go are pretty boring. Let's be honest, right? Let's be honest. Doing this over and over again, although there is a technique, if you don't know, where you can click send and then click the X button and it skips the gift sending animation. It still is boring, especially right now. Like, if you have that special ticket, you can send 150 of these a day. Um, it's pretty boring, right? This feels almost like a chore. So it would be nice. And, you know, we've said a thousand times. And maybe, who knows, maybe Niantic is actually working on this to make an update where we can send gifts faster, which I, I could definitely see Niantic working on it. Because if you don't know, something to know about Niantic that not a lot of people know or consider is that as a huge corporate company, for a change to go into effect at that company, it takes months. It takes months. If an idea gets presented, it's going to be a long time before that idea actually gets put uh, into reality, I guess. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. You know, I just got an idea. Maybe I could do this series, but, like, make it on a new account. That could be interesting. Like a Let's Play on a new account. I don't know. I just sent Billy a gift, the trainer club. Shout out Billy. He doesn't really send me invites though, but to be honest, makes sense. I don't really join that many raids. I am kind of getting cold sitting right here. It's all right. We're gonna just send all of these off. Casual Coops, my brother. I'm gonna be seeing him in um, LA soon actually. So if you have any ideas for videos, me and Casual Coops, and Pokemon is going to be there as well. Let us know. We could do a try not to laugh. That's a good idea. A try not to laugh Pokemon Go edition with casual coops. Let me write that down. Okay, idea written down. But if you have any other ideas, let me know. Comments below. I'm going to try to read all the comments on this video just because I want to know what the feedback is like um, for this type of content. Just a more slow, you know, like I think people have been pointing this towards me as well. YouTube is becoming an, an, a more of a less Mr. Beastie spectacle, insanity, crazy vibe and more of a slow, put it on my TV, play it in the background, 
relax, enjoy, cook some dinner, kind of more of that vibe. So that's the vibe this is supposed to be. And if it's enjoyed, it will be delivered. I don't know why I'm talking like a, was that a medieval man? It'll be delivered. Okay, we're still going with the gifts because we can hold 40 right now. You see, oh, we're almost done. Okay, we're done. Nice, yeah, these gifts, man. They be taking a while. We got two more spawns as well popping up. A spinner rack. My hands are so cold right now. And a lunatone. Nice. Nice. Okay. Oh, we got a research task done. Oh, this was the hatch two eggs. I think we finished just a while back. What does this get us? A growlith in the Hisui form. Cool. Don't really care. I don't know. I, these new Pokemon, like right now, Niantic is on a, dropping all the new Mons because, you know, they're new and they're not in the game yet. I don't know. They're not that interesting to me. I'm not a huge fan of of, uh, of all the new ones. I don't know. What was my favorite new Pokemon from, like, Gen 9? I don't know. Is there a Pokemon I like from Gen 9? Maybe it's just the nostalgia, right? Nostalgia hits you and you just like you like the old... It's out with the old and in with the new from High School Musical. No, it's the opposite. It's out with the new and in with the old. That's what Pokemon's all about. Purify three shadows, no thanks. Defeat three, oh, we could actually do that. Explore 2K, uh, no. The reward is probably trash. What I will do is I will incubate some eggs though, because you know, I always appreciate an egg hatch and all the stardust it gets us. Oh, you know what I should do? Mega Evolve. I'm gonna Mega Evolve actually a Mega Pidgeot because of how many normal type Pokemon we've been seeing. I should have done this all at the start, but uh, I didn't. Well, anyway, Pidgeot is Mega Evolved. Anything else I should do before we get going to our, you know, it reminds me of like a COD. What is it? An Xfil point. We're going to our Xfil point. This is becoming a, a Call of Duty game. Our exfil point is like right here. Yeah, it's like this. The, it's like right there. So we can see it on the map. We just gotta kill all the zombies on the way. <laughs> Kidding. We gotta catch all the Pokemon on the way. That's nice, man. Look at this. Let's, let me show you guys this before we go. It's nice, eh? Nice little view here of uh, Ottawa. I will say though, it is pretty cold. So let me put on my jacket here and then we'll be out of here. Okay, let's go. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. No one knows how hard I tried. Oh, oh I, I have feelings that I can't explain. Driving me insane All my life been so polite But I'll sleep alone tonight Cause I'm just kidding Anywhere else I'd be tame Is it my destiny to live and die A life of blood for charity I'm just kidding Okay guys, I got an update from Pokemama and my brother that the exfil is planned and it's in 15 minutes, so mission is a, is a go. He's slipping, man. It's so slippery out here today. Okay, well, we have the 15-minute countdown, which means we have 15 minutes to get there. But before we get there, let's uh, see if we can get ourselves a shiny. Now, when I say that, what are the odds? 1 in 500? Probably pretty low. Um, but still, worth a try. Also, our daily spawn just appeared. That is so random. I've been playing for more than an hour. So we have an extra spawn, a Passimian, which is 
funny enough, been a very popular daily spawn for me. I don't know why, but it's uh, it's been quite popular. Or just it just appears a lot. I guess it's boosted the season. Remember when it was in raids and everyone was like raiding it? Like, tip for anyone who is new to Pokemon Go: if a new Pokemon comes out in raids and Niantic is trying to get you to raid it or hatch it, don't because next season it'll probably be very very common and very easy to get. Oh, we got a cliff. Okay, cool. Um, okay, we're gonna do this cliff and then we're probably gonna have to hightail it to our meetup spot. Um. Let's go ahead and take down this cliff, see what we can do. Sorry, I got distracted reading a text. Um, now, cliff is very easy. You just use, on, honestly, almost anything in the first slot. Um, and then he's he almost always has Tyranitar in the back. So just bring a, just bring a, like literally just bring a fighting type and you're probably 100% gonna win the back line. Most of the time, at least. There are some times when he doesn't, or he has something else, but. It's very uncommon. And, uh, yeah, so this should be pretty easy. To be honest, Gardevoir sometimes can sweep his team. Like, if it's a T-Tar... Oh, you know what? Speak of the devil. You know, Machamp still does fine against this. He's usually weak to fighting in the back. I, I retake my statement, and that is the new statement I make. He's usually weak to fighting. Okay. I'm going to take this down, and then we'll see you at the meat spot. Just kidding. Let's check this right now before I go. No. And it's not a hundo. I think 373 is the hundo. Okay, now we'll go to the meetup spot. <sighs> okay, well, we made it. This is the locks. Very nice, very nice. It's pretty much where boats come up the, the, the Ottawa Canal. Because, um, you know, the water level changes, so then they fill the locks, and I don't know. It's this whole thing, it's kind of hard to show in the winter. But that is officially mission complete. Um, couple things. Number one, it started raining, which is actually perfect because it's the perfect ending. Number two, we've been officially playing for in one minute, an hour. I want to try to make these videos, you know, about an hour of me just playing, hanging out, chilling. And number three, this is a shiny Morlo. Just kidding, it's not. Looks like I'm the first one here too. My mom or my brother didn't make it, which uh, is interesting. But yeah, that was uh, uh, pretty fun for me actually. I find Pokemon Go can be kind of like therapy if you just have no expectations and just casually play it, you know? I think it can have that effect. Maybe I'm not feeling it right now because it's like raining on me and it's cold and it's ugly. This right here is literally the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Ugly water going down this, like brown water going down this river with gray cement walls and rain. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be ugly shaming it. But there I see my mom coming, so I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you wanna see more of these types of videos, let me know um, because feedback, feedback is what I'm really looking for this. If you guys enjoy this kind of slow, more slow paced, not crazy edits, all sorts of things going down, I can do it. I can do it for you guys and I would gladly do it because you know, sometimes like a video takes a lot of effort, right? It takes a lot of time and sometimes it's nice to just hit record and just talk. So yeah, that's it guys. We'll see you all, uh, I guess in the next uh, episode of the series because I'm going to be doing probably a minimum of five of these and then we'll see where do we go from there. It is so windy. Follow for more tips as always and peace.